Hi, I'm Patricia Galligan. And I'm Andrew Galligan. Okay, and we are currently sitting in your home here in Fremont, California. Can you give us a little background on this house? Like, who lives here? Who's lived here? How long you've lived here? Well, this has been the primary family home for many years. Um, my daughter... Four years. Yeah, my daughter... I, I was pregnant with my daughter when we moved into this house, and she's 23, so 24 years. So my daughter, two boys, uh, who have long since moved out, got, one got married, moved out, one just left the country, moved out many years now. So just our daughter is still here and with us. And this pretty much was our dream home when we were buying it and we loved this location. Nice, quiet part of Fremont. It served our needs very well. It's large, but not too large. So. Let's think back to our journey from where you started when you first started working with me to where you are now. Do you remember that? Oh yes, it was a house <laughs> trashed by two boys. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Can you believe it's been five years since we started this? Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like, okay. As soon as the boys left, it was time it to was actually time. do something. Yes, yes. Our, our middle son said, I said to him, what are we going to do with your room? He said, burn it. <laughs> <laughs> It kind of needed to be. Burned. Do you I do black, remember black stuff, black blackout curtains, black on the walls, things glued everywhere. I mean, it was what problem were you trying to solve when you hired me? Did you have a specific plan in mind? Uh, no, it needed to be modernized. It needed to be repaired from almost twenty years of no, not quite twenty years of boys uh, living here and kind of hard charging boys and uh, the, what I had in mind was we stay at, because of my job I've stayed at a lot of hotels and I've always thought that the bathrooms in the hotels were really nice and far superior to anything we had at home and so my main goal was to get the bathroom for ourselves that really would make me think oh this is as good as anything I've been in in any of the luxury hotels that I've stayed in the world. And we accomplished that goal, thank you. Well, we did start with the bathroom. Yeah. And so what we, little did we realize, we started with the bathroom, it was the kids' bathroom, and we mm -hmm. thought, oh, this will be simple. But then it was so nice, we were like, well, the kids have a nice bathroom, we should have a nice bathroom. Well, pretty soon, all what you see is that the pieces in between the nice bathroom and the nice bathroom all also need to so <laughs> yes, kind of I mean, you did a little piece and you think, oh, this is good, we'll just do the bathrooms. But no, no, you can't just stop at the bathrooms because then everything else looks very shabby and worn out. So we, kept, we did keep going. This is why it turned out to be a five-year five -year project. <laughs> So what do you feel like you've been able to achieve since working with me or using our services? Uh, I'm still married and not divorced. <laughs> um, Indeed. Which I think uh, a total re renovation causes a lot of marital stress because yeah. no two people agree on things completely. And what you did brilliantly was take my kind of ideas and feeling about how it ought to be and Trisha's and come up with something different that actually was much better than either of us. So I, I think that was one of the nice things. You listened to us, ignored what needed to be ignored, <laughs> took, took the things that actually might be workable, melded them together, and just came up with an overall schema that was far superior to, than anything that we could do, yet we still felt ownership in the basic design and look. That, that was the beauty of the whole process, which was you took ownership, but left us with enough ownership where the result was something that we were very involved in doing, but we didn't make the terrible mistakes that we would make if we didn't have somebody like you. Well, we have been known in the past to buy things and things that we like, but then there was no grand scheme, so every room, there was no, Different. no cohesive look. Every room was different. It was its own unique space. But in a whole house, that can get to be kind of um, a little bit unplanned looking. And I would say, you know, we have, our tastes are quite similar, but our 
backgrounds to getting to stuff, we, you come to these decisions with a lot of baggage. So he is very suspect of my taste because he, what he fears is that I'm doing things to keep it all low cost or the, spend the least. And I'm very suspect of him because I feel like he never looks at the price tag <laughs> and then you can be you know, involved in these grandiose things and then you spend a fortune, well eventually you're going to sell your house and you still need to be able to you know, sell it in the, in the price range that you exist in. So the beauty about having somebody who was like a referee who has good taste and is mindful of the budget is that we managed to get what we both wanted. I have to say, we one time made a terrible mistake. We did not listen to you. We did not put in the radiant flooring. It is now, a, a, you know, a saying in this family, ask Alice, don't question Alice. <laughs> Do what Alice recommends. This is Are you regretting it? Are you regretting it? Are you it? Right? Indeed, indeed that turned out to be the case. <laughs> Tile is great, especially in the summertime, when it's hot, it keeps everything nice and cool, but tile does tend to get really cold in the winter. So when we're actually installing it, I recommended to the client that we install radiant heat flooring, but they opted out and that was their biggest regret. Did you guys know you were going to be selling in the near future when we first spoke, or has that been something that just kind of We developed? thought it was certainly something that might happen, but we took the decision of uh, a lot of people renovate to sell just before they're selling and we made the decision let's renovate and enjoy it for a few years uh, which we really have and then if we sell we sell probably would have sold sooner had we not renovated yes <laughs> <laughs> right yeah. and then you would have had to do it anyway <laughs> yeah right yes yeah. that's true and not it's been it. nice living yeah. in an updated place yeah, yeah very, very nice. nice very comfortable the fireplace is, oh my God, so awesome. And then it heats up with the high ceilings. It just travels all the way upstairs. It's always com comfortable in here. Always nice and organized. Oh my, so that's I what am. I was gonna ask. Like what has been the impact of actually renovating your yeah. home? How's that impacted your lifestyle? Well, I find it much more restful. <laughs> Maybe just because the boys aren't here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it shows very well, I have to say. I mean, and it always feels good to come in um, and everything is, everything looks nice, everything's got a home. It makes you feel more encouraged to kind of keep it up a little bit yourself, even though I'm not a fabulous housekeeper, I prefer to be doing stuff outside. So once it was cleaned up and it looks great, it makes it nice to come home to. Do you and invite people over, which of course you can't do now these days. But good anyway. thing you had a good four-year run. You did. You did. Exactly. We enjoyed it. Yeah. Yes. So, how are you feeling in your house now compared to before, if you can remember? Well, it's much more restful, um, and it, it's a more grown-up mm -hmm. kind of this. Well, we don't even want to go to luxury hotels anymore because their bathrooms are not as nice no, as ours. Yeah. <laughs> we have been noticing Wait a minute. That. <laughs> and and what, which hotels were you referring to? We went down to the Ritz Carlton in Half Moon Bay, which is very nice. And we we're like, oh, our, I think our bathroom is, holds up very well. I mean, we like our bathroom. We can have coffee in bed up there and admire our bathroom. It's, <laughs> it's very nice. You don't have to go anywhere. What would you say was your least favorite part of the house before? The garage, maybe. Yeah. The garage was such a... a we had always meant to do something with the garage and we never did until just yeah. now. Yeah. The garage was... I, I never liked... I could never get that floor clean. It never looked clean. It, I mean, it's always been a very nice house. It yeah, just got run down and messy and yeah. damaged. Well, we lived here a long time. Yeah. So. What would you say is your favorite upgrade out of everything that we've done? Which is a lot. So. Can we talk about the bathrooms again? <laughs> <laughs> Probably this space. Yeah, this space like is this. Very nice. When yeah. you change from the couch to the four uh, chairs and then the, we, this custom um, coffee table, which um, my 
babysitter said she wanted this to be left to her in our will. <laughs> and this room is always kept up, so it looks nice when you come in in the foyer. This always looks nice. This is Andrew's. For years, he wanted a place where you know he could be comfortable and enjoy his artwork, and um, that meant keeping other people out. So that's why there's no TV in this room because so, he sits here. He would listen to music by the fireplace and. This is the epitome of a grown-up yeah. space. Yes, yeah. exactly. You can do his crossword puzzles. And it's spacious. Yeah. Yes. Is there anything that you would do differently if you had to do it over again? Yeah, do the radiant floor. floor. <laughs> <laughs> the radiant floor. <laughs> so now, what advice would you give to other people who may be considering renovating, and especially if they are planning on reselling soon? It's worth doing. Yeah, it's absolutely worth With the doing. right person. Yeah. So I would never have wanted to have had something where it was carte blanche, we want unlimited everything. I, want, I liked it made me feel like somebody, um, first of all, was in control of the budget, knew what they were doing. And, and because of your experience, of course, when you presented a budget, it wasn't just like numbers out of the sky, out of thin air. It was numbers that actually, you know, could be validated as, as we went forward and you kept us informed with any changes that might come up or other ways of doing things which is nice so we really got our taste we got it sticking to the budget and it actually allowed us to do more right so I think that's a really good way to go we would never have had the expertise to do that never mm -hmm. you had your realtor come through what was the realtor's reaction to your property they, uh, they came in anything. saying, at first they came in before looking at it saying, well, yeah. they want to maybe paint some walls or do something else. And they came in, came through, and they said they wouldn't touch anything. Yeah, right. But, yeah. but the it was perfect. Seemed all was a yeah. Seamless. Complete. It's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I think they, their expectation going coming in was based on what their experience is yeah. with right. most homes. Right. That they're going to have to come in and... Do some work. Do some work. Yeah. Guys. What have you learned since working with me over the last few years about even yourself or about the whole renovation process or how you would approach things? I realized that Andrew is not used to living in building sites and without you to reassure him, things could have gotten very ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I well, did a lot of travel during that period. <laughs> <laughs> Much of it necessary. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I would never have expected that we could have had such a productive and long-lived relationship. I mean, it, it's so easy to work with you and you're so cheerful. So it's, it is something that requires somebody to stay positive, to stay on top of it. And that is true with your, in your case, which is no detail is too small. Um, which certainly suits Andrew's, you know, uh, his approach to things. So you, no detail is too You're small. You're about to say my warped personality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to say obsessional, yeah. but... <laughs> but I mean, I, I think the highest compliment <laughs> we could pay you is that in our new house, we're getting you to uh, Indeed. renovate that. Day. Yes, we would. In fact, we were saying, we, should we buy this house only if we can get Alex to come? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>